Welcome back. Now, experts in Indonesia have started to artificially inseminate Sumatran rhinos in an effort to boost the birth rate of that critically endangered species. The technique, believed to be the first in the world for rhino, is being introduced at the Sumatran Rhino Sanctuary in Lampung, Sumatra. Well, just recently, the sanctuary recorded the birth of a naturally conceived Sumatran rhinoceros, only the fourth born in captivity in more than a century. It's been a splashing good time for four-month-old Andatu and mom Ratu in the protected confines of the Sumatran rhino sanctuary. Andatu, a male Sumatran rhino, is only the fourth to be born in a breeding facility in more than a century. With less than 200 left in the wild, the Sumatran species is the world's most endangered rhino, killed for its horns and its natural habitat destroyed by plantations. We believe very strongly that the future of the species lies in captive management in places like Waikambas here, where you keep the rhinos under natural conditions, but in fences where they get the, the best globally, you know, high standard uh, attention from dedicated keepers, the best diet, the best veterinary care, international assistance where needed to boost the birth rate. And that's the crux. So we, need to, we need to get more births than death. The Borneo Rhino Alliance, which runs a rhino sanctuary in Sabah, is keen to learn and replicate the success of the Indonesian breeding program at the sanctuary in Wekambas National Park, Lampung, Sumatra. Set up in 1996, it's primarily funded by the International Rhino Foundation. Behind this fencing is a 100 hectares sanctuary for the Sumatran rhinos and five of them are roaming freely in their natural habitat and has proven to provide the natural environment and conditions for them to breed. But what's more interesting, beyond these fence-up facilities, two newborns have been discovered in the wild each year, boosting survival hopes for the endangered species. Experts, however, fear they cannot simply leave it to nature to propagate the Sumatran rhino. And so earlier this year, they resorted to artificial insemination, a measure that has yet to see its first success. Ini kita alokasikan kepada badak yang sudah mulai tua uh, dengan sekel yang sudah irregular. Karena bagaimanapun badak yang mempunyai sekel yang baik tentu akan kita keep, kita jaga natural breeding dengan uh, jantan kita andalas. Millions of dollars have gone into breeding programs for these endangered species. Acknowledging that their plantations were partly responsible for the destruction of the rhino's natural habitat, most of the funding comes from multinational corporations like Sam Dhabi in Malaysia. We also contribute to the threat of extinction. And uh, as, as, as a responsibility, we say we must do our best and use our profits as much as possible to uh, get involved in this exercise of trying to save that particular species. Managed breeding facilities like this offer the best hope for the endangered Sumatran rhinos. And there's real optimism that Andatu will eventually have siblings to play with in the not too distant future. So that is so Channel News Asia, Lampung, Sumatra.